All right. So, I'm currently in Rose Unlimited Classic, and but here's the reason why the chassis system has been added. To be more specific, the General Motors 50th Anniversary chassis system unit slash BNO unit. Of course, here due to copyright reasons, the logo and name well, the name has been rebranded, obviously. Of course, you've got B&O, or where B&O would be there. Probably have the unit type there, but instead of showing 50 years for GM, it's 50 years for Rails Unlimited. But of course, you've got the famous Chessie System logo with the Chessie Cat. And I've spoke to one of the devs, and they're apparently... At some point in the future, there will be another version of this unit in the famous Chessie system livery. As far as its consist goes, I'll do a slow roll by in scenic view so you can see it. It starts off with, let me let this next version come through. So, I'm going to do a slow roll by the consist for this train. Consists of two chassis system box cars, one rail box box car, a Penn Central auto transport car, a chassis system covered hopper, a Burlington Northern covered hopper, a Sioux line box car, a Milwaukee Road box car, and two chassis system steel coil cars with no caboose. But at the era, there would still be a chassis caboose at the end. Now then, here's what the bell sounds like. You can hear the engine powering up to over notch 8 at this point. Set it at 90. And here's what the horn sounds like. So basically, I think a Leslie RS3L is the kind of horn that's been used. You can see the engine's got the two marker lights on the front and the top-mounted headlight with the forward-mounted horn. That's accurate. Now the bell. The bell would usually be somewhere around here on the fuel tank. Oh no, that's right, the bell would have been mounted right there. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. See y'all later.